Today we're going to be going over the five most overrated maps in the history of Call of Duty Zombies and uh yeah this is going to be an interesting one because uh hey it's going to be a little controversial to say the very least because uh you know I'm calling out maps that are overrated of course it is but hopefully you guys have fun with it either way but let's just not waste any more time and jump right into this top five most overrated maps in the history of Call of Duty Zombies. Number 5, Verrucked. Verrucked is an interesting one because it's most definitely not as overrated as many of the other maps here, but it still belongs on this list because of the reasons that I hear people saying that this map is good. Because one of the main reasons people say this map is good is because of its atmosphere. Its atmosphere is just so captivating. It is just something that is so unique. But that's not the only reason it's overrated. And the other reason is because of another thing that people constantly like to say about Verrucked. And what that is, is that it is the spookiest zombies map of all time. It's just so scary. It's so spooky. I was shaking my boots the first time I played it. It was so spooky. Well, let me break it to you. It's actually not scary. The map is not scary in the slightest. And more than that, let me break this to you. Zombies has never been scary. Call of Duty Zombies in the history of its existence has never been scary. The only reason that you thought Verrucked was scary was because you were a small little child who got scared at any small little thing you could possibly get scared of. And all you're doing now is just talking about small childhood fears that you used to have and you talk about them now when you're a full grown adult. Like, what are you doing right now? That'd be like me going around telling people that The Lord of the Rings was a scary horror movie that is so spooky till this day because I, as a small child in the past, was scared of it when I watched it. Number 4, Shangri-La. At one point in this world, it was actually the perfect world. The world that Monty and Primus were searching for. We were living in it. And that all changed when people started overrating Shangri-La out of nowhere. Because at one point, people knew what Shangri-La was. A very bad map. But then all of a sudden, a couple years later, people started acting like this map is actually good and aged like a fine wine. And that's just not true. And this just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I try to think about why do people like it? Because it looks nice? Okay, cool. The map looks nice for its time. Congratulations. But it still plays like dog trash. Like, like what? It's still not fun to play. The monkeys are stupid. The layout is stupid. The pathing is stupid. It's on Black Ops 1. And, like, it's just not very cool. And doesn't really do anything that great. Like, maybe these tricks okay for its time but that's literally the least you could say about it and i mean if there really is anything to really point out why this map actually isn't as good as so many people try to pretend it is today is just by the idea that people have been saying for so long that shang is on mars please learn some basic science it's not stop it stop it okay the only ways that you could imagine Shang be on Mars is if you don't know anything about the simple science of solar eclipses or Treyarch doesn't. I mean, I don't know who it is, but one of those two doesn't because anybody who has learned any little small piece of information about solar eclipses would know is that solar eclipses don't happen on Mars or at least full solar eclipses. You can have like little eclipses because they have little satellites and not proper moons like we do here on Earth. So those could pass over the sun, leaving a small little dot on the sun. But in the end, it doesn't make a full solar eclipse like it does on Shang. So, no! It doesn't scientifically make sense that there would be a solar eclipse on Mars. Thus, since there is a solar eclipse on Shang, Shang is not on Mars. 
Number three, Kino der Hoen. This is interesting because honestly, this map isn't overrated by some people, but by a certain other group of people that we will touch on, they do overrate this map. And you'll see this map landing in people's top tens or even their S tiers or A tiers. And like, it's not a bad map, but let me kind of reword this in another way to put it in a way to get my ideas about this map across. So you guys remember the Rize, the most recent map before Kino de Toten, right? We, we know that map. So what does Kino do so much better than the Rize? Honestly, like, like what? The map is slightly bigger? Okay, I mean, the areas that are bigger, like, you don't really do much with it. Uh, I mean, sure, there's the Thunder Gun there. That's a plus. I'll give you that. But, I mean, okay. But, like, like, what does it do so much better? Like, I just don't understand what this map does great. There's no story. There's no Easter egg. Yeah, sure, it's for its time, whatever. But it just doesn't really do anything better. Because the most recent map before it, the Rize, does everything this map does just as well, if not, in some cases, better. Like, the story. The Rize told the story much better than Kino ever did. So, I'm just confused why people rate this map so high. And this is coming from someone who doesn't actually hate Kino. Like, I'm not coming from a place of hate for this map like I am for so many other maps on this list, but... Like, I don't get it. This is just a one of confusion for me. I just don't understand why people have this rated so high. So I do want to come down here at the end because I don't hate Kino, but I don't get it either. Number two, nine. And this is the one I wanted to talk about, baby. Let's go. This is it. Oh my gosh. Anybody who has been following me since Black Ops 4 knows that I will never not take an opportunity to talk trash about nine because holy crap, this map, this map, I do not understand this because what frustrates me to no end is that when I hear people say that 9 is the one good map in Black Ops 4, or even some people say the only great map in Black Ops 4, which I just think to myself, like, what are you talking about? In what world is this map great? Like, people be putting this alongside Origins and the Rise and Rocket. Like, legit, people be doing that. And I just think about those maps, and I think about this map. And I'm just confused, like, what, it, what, what, how, what, in which way? Okay, first hit against this map, it's on BO4, so automatically that's a humongous hit against it. Next is the Easter Egg. The Easter Egg sucks. Like, what is a single fun or good step on the entire Easter Egg? Like, oh, wait, tell me down in the comments. I want to know what step is actually good. Maybe you can say the boss fight, it's just a bullet sponge. Okay, cool. I mean, it looks cool. You're fighting an elephant, whatever. But I mean, in terms of gameplay, nothing special, especially the steps before the boss fight. And then high rounds. Don't even get me started on all the billion different types of zombie types you have to deal with when you're playing this freaking map. It is just not fun to do in the slightest. And like, I try to look around. What do people say is good about this? And I hear people talking about the atmosphere with the chanting. Like you hear the crowd chanting when something good happens or they'll start booing when something bad happens. It's just like, Bro, if I wanted to hear chanting, I'd watch a sports game. Like, why do I need to hear that when I'm playing zombies? I mean, sure, it's a nice touch, but like, it's not fundamentally changing my experience. I'm not thinking, oh, the atmosphere is so great on this map. No, I go to Dead of the Night for that, right? So I, I just don't understand at all why people even pretend that this map is good. Like, it has to be some fiction that they wrote in their own head to justify why this map is so good. And it just doesn't make sense to me. And also, 9 sucks and is just another BO4 map. And number one, Black Ops Zombies as a whole. And yes, first things first, I'm kind of cheating here because this is an entire game, but my gosh, I need to get this off my chest. Holy Black Ops Zombies ain't what people say this game is. And I really try to see where these people are coming from, but I just don't understand because people really be acting like Black Ops Zombies is on the same level as Black Ops 3 or even better than Black Ops 3 and it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, 
what does Black Ops do that is just so unique compared to all of the other zombies experiences? Like seriously, what could you exclusively just do in Black Ops? And sure, you could say that, hey, it's an 11 year old game, of course it's going to be a little dated at this point, fair enough. But if even if we look back at when Black Ops was six years old and compare to today's Black Ops 3, which is six year old, people are still playing Black Ops 3, whereas Black Ops ain't nobody touching that game. Like, it's just not even comparable, these two games. And to anybody who even thinks of saying that Black Ops Zombies is on the same level or worse, better than Black Ops 3 Zombies, is just false and honestly just needs to be cancelled at this point. <laughs> And that wraps it up for this list. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this list. Is it like ridiculous, dumb, or what, what do you think about this? But even if you don't agree with this list, hopefully it was fun nonetheless, this video. So uh, hopefully you at least got that out of it. But you know, if it was fun or entertaining in any way, shape, or form, I would appreciate it on your way out to drop a like, subscribe, bell, share, or any of that great stuff because hey, yeah, I thought it would be worth it. But regardless, I'm going to go. I'll catch you guys in the next stream video or whatever the heck it may be. And uh, laters, guys.